Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to Tuesday, the 18th of July. I had to think then what day it was. And we are going to continue our Penumbra playthrough here, Overture. Carrying on from where we got to yesterday, in fact, we got to a point where we traversed like an icy lake. And. Um, yeah, we got across the lake, and we found a hand with, once OBS catches up. Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, we traversed across the icy lake. We found a crowbar in somebody's hand, which we had to, like, literally saw the hand off to get the crowbar. And... Yeah. Let's, um... Go back, I guess. And carry on. Oh, we have a note here. And a backpack. Last one on the testament of Joe Freeman. Joe, Joe Freeman would like to leave all and personal to my sister May in the knowledge that she will distribute the wisely. We always used to say better to die young than never to die at all. Never to live at all. I guess we're going to get our wish. I know enough about survival to realise I won't survive much longer. John O, my buddy, I just don't know. My left leg is broken in three places and I suspect I may also have shattered my pelvic bone. Three hours ago after we set up camp, John O set off to find some usable timber for the fire. When he got back, he was very excited. I couldn't work out what it what it was that had got him so agitated, but I went along with it all the same. I should have recognised the sign. Soon after he got worse, he jumped me when I turned away, burying my face in the snow, trying to suffocate me. I still don't know what he found in the ice to enrage him so. so. Luckily for me, the ground gave way and we both fell. I landed hard on the ice and desperately clawed my way onto more solid ground. I was running on adrenaline and I didn't know, notice the pain. I just knew that if I was going to die, I didn't want to be dying in the frozen water beneath me. When you fall into frozen lake, you don't just drown or freeze to death. Your whole body seizes up from the cold. Every instant dink tells you to swim from the side, but your body won't let you. You gradually dip under the surface, your last breath expelled when you fell. But you don't drown there and then. Your body shuts everything down, survives on what strength you have left. You can last for an hour just floating there, slowly, slowly dying. So now I'm lying here, my soaked cortex slowly freezing me in place. Me on the other side of the lake, Jono trapped on the other. I'm worried about him. From what I can see from his side, his arm is dislocated, his shoulder blade fractured, and his wrist broken. I can't hear anything, but he yells. But he looks to be constantly muttering to himself, testing the ice with a crowbar from his pack. I don't know how he can stand the pain, or whether his strength is coming from, but at any rate, something strange happened to him. Fortunately, for me, he can't cross the ice. It will give way under his weight. The only way to cross it would be to carefully spread your weight evenly across the surface, and he looks too much in a rush for that. There's a lot of drugs in my system right now. I have another bottle of painkillers. There's enough to finish the job. I always said I'd rather die pushing the boundaries than drift away in my sleep. I guess I didn't mean that after all. I'd rather gently slip away than die cold or bleeding. Okay. Yeah, so we have to read that first to get the painkillers. And we've got a flare as well. Excellent. So. Let's um, go back through here. I need to find a map to remember where I'm going. Ah, here we are. So we are at the lake. We came from section B in the middle. So, chemical storage, I guess it's going to be, right? Or the incinerator. Good dog, good dog. Just checking around here. Just make sure there was nothing. Oh, 
Right, chemical storage is this way. Let's check out the incinerator first. Guess this is the right way. Yep. All right, we're at the incinerator. There we go. So my headset is about to die. Please excuse me for a moment. Ah, uh, you're not that late. Actually, we've only been going for about five minutes, Aaron. So, no worries, no worries at all. Okay. Okay. So someone may have bridged the gaps with wooden planks. Uh, demolish it quickly, get some tips from my explosive book. Alright, so let's check out the explosive books. Dynamite. Maybe we need some uh, Armstrong's mixture. Maybe. Let's have a look. Alright, let's go. Come on, where's the jump scare? No, it's got to come soon, right? Ha! It does open. Thank you. Excellent. Shut the door behind us, because, you know, stay safe. And all that jazz. Painkillers. Okay, potion mixer. Got a fuse. Glass container. So what are we actually going to mix that? I guess... Hmm. I have a feeling that we're going to make the um, the one on the last page, I think. Do we have a fuse? We need barium and red phosphorus. So yeah, that's going to be in the chemical storage, obviously. Um, we can pop that in there. Excellent. And then we're going to do that. Okay. Uh, I'm not spooked, can't land. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to go back, right? So we've got to go back, we've got to go to chemical storage. Every game needs parkour, let's face it. Alright. And I applaud your attempt. I really do. Okay, so chemical storage is next. 
That's where we need to go. Let me just check. Through incinerator. Just take uh, right and then right again. Okay. Of course, it's locked from the other side. Of course it is. Of course it is. I will check it out. I will check it out, you and your garygasms. Of course a horse. Of course a horse? What? Hey, what? Alright, chemical storage. Oh, something's going to happen. Because we got a safe spot. Um. Okay. And Come on. Oh my goodness. Wow. The black tape monster got me. Damn. Okay. It's Nock versus the Tape Monster. Act 2. No, 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 no. Alright. Uh, maybe I don't need the thing here at all. Alright. How naive of you just to think that, Kong Clan. Okay, that works too. I can't just turn the frickin' handle! Really? He was behind me. I don't need a talus axe, I've got a pickaxe. Come on! Uh, no button. Come on! Dead. What? Okay. I don't know what that's meant to do, though. I don't know what the um, the wheel, if anything, does anything. Yeah, we took some damage. Oh! 
For real? That was like... Maybe juke the work and run back. Maybe I should just try opening the door. Maybe that might work as well, you know. Hey, at least my parkour's improving. Ah, oh, well, I just screwed that over. Well and truly. Okay. Hey, old snake. What's going on, buddy? Welcome along. Hope you're well. It's been starting to get a bit frustrating now. I refuse to believe that this, this is water. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Hey, maybe Conk Lam was on something. Did I just break something? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand here and he goes into that and then it falls on him. It may. Alright, I think I've got a plan. I think i got a plan. I think I know what to do. I got this. I need to worry about the valve just yet. Because that valve's going to take ages, right? Lazy valve. Come on, please. Why is why is it like pools of acid? I I don't know. I don't know. You think that valve was responsible for um, fidget spinners? <laughs> I have a good feeling about this time. I have a good feeling. Alright. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. 
Come at me. What? I call, I ball, I call baloney. Well, I tried that before when the when I glitched the worm out and it didn't look like it would break. I'll certainly try. I mean, I've probably got more time, right? As long as I'm, you know, get this done relatively sharpish. There we go. Oh, my brain Whew. can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroics you must be performing to save old Red. I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound prison cell and release me from this mortal coil. Do we really need a door and a valve like this? Yeah, the valve works faster now as well. Can I put it down just in case he comes back through? Maybe not. All right, let's have a look to see what we got. We've got a chemical. We have another chemical. We have a note. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, and sodium. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, is that to do with the way we have to mix them? Like the other game, we have to mix them in a certain order. Hmm. Not sure. Alright, let's explore everything. I don't want a smelly shoe. <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing there's going to be six to find, right? That's four. Take flares because you know we haven't got enough flares. Gonna be behind you, aren't you? Yes, there we are. Okay, so we have six kels. So we've got six chemicals, which is what I thought we would have. Uh, so now I guess we unlock the door and go back to our little chemical lab, a little homemade chemical lab, right? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Is this it? Uh, no, no section. Not got turned round. Here we are. Incinerator. Alright. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. So I read, calm down. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentence me to yet. <laughs> uh just grab chemical, okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. And it's what? Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentenced me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung death's doorbell? 
Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more. Like all the others. All the others? How many other people has there been, Red? Honestly. Okay. So, let's... Alright, we need to work out what to do here then. So let's look at our notes. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus and sodium. I'm going to save first. That might be uh, useful. So. <laughs> hey, we're making great success. Let's check our big book of explosives. So we're not making dynamite. The mixture can be carefully and slowly mixed to minimize that. Sulfur can be a substitute for some or all of the barium. So how do we make red phosphorus then? I guess we gotta make, cause we got, didn't we have sulfur? Hold on, um, didn't we have sulfur in the, yes, no, we, got, we haven't. Well, phosphorus is red, right? So we need red phosphorus and barium. Oh. B-A-D-C-F-E, that's how we need to do it. Well, let me write that down. Bad. 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 Suffer. That's what we we'll do. Alright, so. Let's now mix these together and see what we can come up with, shall we? Alright. So, burr. Uh... Does that mean it was good? I don't know. D and C. Does that mean it's wrong or good? I, I don't know. I'm guessing that's a bad thing. F E. Huh. Hey, I don't know. Alright, let's read the notes again then. Let's read the notes again. What else could we do? Yeah, that's why I just tried, Conclan. Um, unless there's another way to... Yeah, no, that's what I took from uh, from that Conclan, and um, it didn't want to work. Nope. Nope. Trial and error, right? Nope.
Ha. Ha. Hey Hugo, no worries buddy, welcome along, anyway we've got another half an hour, we're 10 minutes late starting today, so we, you, you, you're here for another half an hour, that's fine. What else could it be? Red phosphorus and barium, and we can use sulfur. So hold on. Barium, we don't have sulfur. C, B, A. So if we do three, D, D and F. Let's try D and F together. D and F. Excellent. And we lose all the other chemicals. Okay. No worries. Okay, so. I've now got to take this carefully back. Such a troll having all those other chemicals. And then... Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a number and letter code, basically. It was a combination of the two. I have no intention of becoming a drug peddler or a drug dealer. Alright. Hey, look at that. Alright, so what do I do now? Okay. So, now I use the fuse. Now I light the fuse, not with the beef jerky, and now I run. Hopefully, will we find red down here? And of course, can't open it just yet, because that would be too easy. Good evening. You, you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my sword box now, but the world is losing. You came, you are so pretty. I think so. Conklin. 
the other world already beckons me. So I suppose one further misdemeanor will change me. It is false pretension and not guiding light with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you, hungry behind those doors. As the treatments go, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and the voice you knew only as red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have parts of my head are uh, not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit chat and large below for the fire has ended. And I hope that soon, uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. What? Um. Okay. I think he's hiding in the machine. He talks about how they're invading his head, and obviously that because um, we've played, because we've played the original. Uh, sorry, the the middle. Uh, we've played Black Plague already. We know that's the men. That's what. Um, oh, what was his name? Can't think of the. What was the dude's name who invaded us? Yeah. Wow. So we just killed Red. All of that to find him. And then we just kill him. Makes sense. But if it's the only way to, you know, stop his suffering. Alright, so we still got the crowbar? Yeah. So I'm thinking. Maybe use the crowbar to. <laughs> Uh, ten years too late, Hugo. Um, cut the power. Where's the power? Anybody see anywhere where I can cut the power? Rip. Thanks, Red. No, Red's dead. Red just got incinerated. So... What do I do with Red's key? Oh, this way. That would make sense. I'll save just in case. Howard knows the real fear. It's my dad. Is this like his 
Fred's den or is this his dad's den? Um Okay. So he was sitting here guiding me all this way and then he climbed into the incinerator as soon as he heard the explosion, I guess, to like kill himself and get him out of his misery. Okay. Looks like he tried to kill himself, but he wasn't allowed to die. Oop, it's a toilet. Slugs. Luckily, I have a screwdriver. Huzzah! Well, there's women that have freaky, freaky faces, to be honest. It's quite quiet, isn't it? As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through my mind. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was, its, was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in the continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was in inextricably linked to everything that, he, that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until this point was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Welcome to the shelter. Oh, we've finally made it to the shelter. So yeah, this I think this must be the end coming up here. So established 33, got elevated, four elevated casts, six chief staffs, 39 lowest cast, and eight temporary. And we've got 57 population. Key members: Frisk, Oswald, blah de, blah de, blah de, blah. Where's my dad? Where's my dad? Howard Lafresk. There we go. Chief translator. And this was last updated in 2000. Please have your identification documents ready. Um, who's that? Mommy, what's the man doing? I have no idea. <laughs> With that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more. And so began my next chapter. To be continued. And there we go, guys. That brings us to the end, quite nicely, of Penumbra Overture. There was an element of like false, um, false terror there though, but it does make you apprehensive of going down the corridor and actually seeing what is down there. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to see what happens in the next part of the game, go and check out the uh, my YouTube channel. You'll find on my playthrough of Black Plague already on the channel. Well, I don't know. I. 
I don't know if it has or not. Um, because we don't know what just happened. Whether somebody just infected us there when they dragged us into that cell, or what really happened, Hugo. So it's hard really to say. It's hard to say. I don't really know that Red would have infected us with anything. Um, sorry, excuse me. Unless there was something running through um, the air system or something. I don't know. I've got 15 minutes. I can have a quick chat about this. What you guys think. Definitely, um, I don't know, because I thought the way it was spread was by like a parasitic infestation. So, unless like a parasite latched onto me, I would have the impression like that's would how they would get infected in the first place. Um, wasn't made by two people. So yeah, I don't know. Um, not sure about that one. This one was definitely a lot more. Um, I wouldn't say difficult, but it was. It, it wasn't just a matter of running around. Uh, a black plague I found that you could just run around the corridors. Once you worked out that the en the enemies were quite slow to turn and different bits and pieces, and they didn't catch up, you could just like run past them. They really didn't have any um, sort of um, real attack on you. Whereas the enemies, like the dogs in this one, they're, once they spot you, they are on you, and it's really hard to outrun them. It's really hard to outrun them. So, um, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, that is going to bring us to the end today. Um, tomorrow, yeah, definitely. Definitely for, like, the... There was more of, like, a stealthy um, mentality about it where we had to sneak around and, and get around. So tomorrow... We will be starting our uh, playthrough of Obscure. Obscure comes out tomorrow on um, Early Access, so we will be taking a look at that tomorrow. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, my links and everything are now on the screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.